Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at the basics of character model head and body morphs. Throughout this beginner's tutorial, I'll introduce you to various subtle adjustments that you can make to your character's head and body shapes to end up with an attractive model like you see here. To get started, you'll want to apply a base actor template first. In your content manager, you'll find a folder labeled Characters, which includes a number of embedded character bases. Double click on this to download the free embedded content if you haven't already. I'll start by loading in the Camilla base character, which will provide the basic female character body type that we can build upon. If the morph gizmo in the top right is enabled, you will see yellow highlights appear on the areas of your model's body that you mouse over. The easiest way to adjust a character's morph shapes is to click and drag on any of these. The deformation of the body part will vary depending on the direction you drag your mouse. You can try out the various results for yourself as each body part will be different. If you want to reset the shape to the original default, simply double click on the yellow highlighted area. For more detailed morph parameters, click on the Morph tab of the Modify panel. You'll see a number of morph sliders categorized according to specific body parts. Clicking on each one will bring up the relevant morphs to the right. Generally, for more specific morph adjustments, you'll want to use these sliders as opposed to the morph gizmo, so you can deactivate that by clicking on the button in the toolbar. Let's try a quick morph adjustment using a slider. Under Waist, this abs upper contour slider will make a very subtle adjustment to the upper abdominal area. If we rotate around our model, you can use the hip length slider to elongate the hip area as well. If you want to reset your slider back to the default value, simply double click on the text or image of that specific slider. In addition to more detailed morphs for individual body parts, there are also full body morphs that are based on overall physiques. You can find these under Full Body. You can combine any number of these together for a more unique look. Body Thin will make the character more slender, while Body Tone adds definition to the musculature. The Content Store contains an additional collection of unique morphs that provide you with an excellent base starting point when developing your character. You can see currently that Camilla Full Body Morph is set at 100%, but we can take that down to present a more natural, androgynous body type to start from. We can then experiment with various other Full Body Morphs to test the results. In addition to realistic human morphs, there are also more stylized tune bases that you can use, depending on the needs of your project. Let's continue with a couple of important tips for morph parameter settings. You can use the search field at the top to quickly find morphs relevant to your query. Be aware that this will only present results from your currently selected category. To search all body parts, select the main actor category. One very important category to be aware of is currently used. This will list all of the morph sliders that are currently influencing your character's body and head shapes. This is an excellent way to find and tweak morph sliders that you've already utilized. In addition to using the sliders, you can also directly input a numerical value as well. This value can be above or below the limit set on the slider, but be aware that extreme values can result in extremely weird looking results. In some cases, you may want to reset multiple values simultaneously. In that case, you can click on the lock button to lock the values that you want to keep, then hit the reset button at the bottom. There is also a favorites category that you can save any morph slider to if you use it often. Simply click on the heart icon to do so, and those morphs will be saved to your favorites and retained even if you restart Character Creator. Okay, let's move on to the facial morphs next. You can focus on the character's face by using the drop down menu or the J hotkey. If I activate the morph gizmo again, you can see the various facial morph areas highlighted. 
We can do some simple adjustments here like lowering the inner brow and raising the cheekbone slightly. Again, for more detailed refinements, it's recommended to use the morph sliders. These all fall under the main head category, and you can see that even under eyes, there are dozens and dozens, as even the most subtle change to facial features can make a big difference in the overall character appearance. Eye round A is an important one for eye size, and nose ridge upper depth can be used to make the eye sockets appear deeper. And morphs like jaw corner height can be used to make a more angular jaw. For an even larger and more detailed library of morphs, you can consider the Morph 1000 Plus Pack in the Content Store, which also comes free with the Headshot plugin. Beyond body and head morphs, there are also additional details that you can use to enhance your character's final appearance. In the Content Manager, there are all sorts of additional feature options. Here, I have a number of different eyeball color templates to choose from, and there is also a massive library of different hairstyles that can be applied to your character in an instant. Various makeup templates can be applied and customized down to the finest detail as well. When you finish the basics, you can then dress your character up in a variety of embedded clothing options, not to mention the thousands of options that are available in our online stores. After you finish dressing up your character, you can then check out the animated results via the test motion at the bottom timeline menu. Be aware that certain extreme proportions may stretch clothing materials or even break through the mesh, but this can easily be solved and is covered in our more advanced tutorials. Once you're satisfied, you can zoom to a comfortable distance where your whole character is on display. Go into the custom tab of the content manager and under the actor category, hit the save button at the bottom. This will save your character with a nice thumbnail based on your camera view for use in your future projects. That's it for this basic tutorial guys. I hope you enjoy your character creator journey and I'll see you in the next video.